Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Rain World. This time, however, we're uh, we're not playing who we have been playing. We're playing the monk, weak of body but strong of spirit, in tune with the mysteries of the world and empathetic to its creatures. Your journey will be a significantly more peaceful one. So, we completed the survivor last time we played because we finally got all the achievements required for it. Now, we're doing the monk. Because I wanted to see the monk's storyline. And the monk is a bit different from my understanding. Not too much different, but just a little bit different. Also, do not mind me taking a million screenshots right now. I need more screenshots than the ones that we've had in the past because I just need to get different screenshots than the ones that I use for my Survivor episodes, you know? And I can already tell some of these I think are a bit different. I do know, however, uh, the like, we're gonna have a relatively, I think, similar start to the Survivor. I'm not 100% sure. And this game still upholds as one of my few 11 out of 10 games that I can say. So, are we... Yeah, we're still that slug cat, or are we... Oh, we're the other slug cat. Yeah, because Survivor is the one that falls right there. Monk jumps in after. Okay, so that's the explanation for the Survivor is, or for the Monk is, we're looking for the Survivor. Of course, in I think the Monk story, the Survivor does not survive. But here we are. Well, we've all been here before, if you saw my, in my other, uh, series. In fact, I'm already pulling off, um, some movement tech with my sliding that, um, isn't exactly taught to you by the game. Granted, this game is a game all about knowledge. So, the more knowledge you have, the better, basically. And as you saw there, I went and did a backflip. It looks like we have more or less food required and less food needed to eat. So, the game's going to be... A little bit easier in that aspect um, but I can already tell we're gonna still have some things be a little bit you know harder um, just with the fact that they, well some things are definitely gonna be easier some things are gonna be harder I think it's gonna be a little bit harder to upkeep our food numbers simply just because we're losing um i would say a higher percentage of our food every day um however you know i i think it'll be fine um this time our goal will be not to um our goal will be not to head to five pebbles until um we meet um all of the um what's it called all of the um why can i not word all of the echoes because the echoes um there's an achievement for finding the echoes before um finding five pebbles and um, I would like to get that this time around simply just because it's one of the few achievements I don't have in the game. And I got almost all the other achievements 
last time uh, with Survivor. So the main goal for this series will be um, meet all of the... Um, Meet all of the Echoes, um, meet five Pebbles, and then Ascend. Um, so, I think starting off with that, we might want to head over towards Farm Arrays. Like, I'm kind of already starting to make my way over there. So, you know, I don't, I don't know how, how far we're going to make it today. We might get a, um... Who knows? I, I don't think we're going to get an Echo today. That that would be insane to me if I got all the way to an Echo day one. Um, also, because I don't know if the map is different at all. I know some of them, the map is different. But I specifically didn't overly investigate um, which ones the maps were different on i just kind of realized like i looked at some of the characters saw that oh yeah your map is got some different names attached to it um i better be careful about that you know and um then didn't look at them because different name to me meant uh that that was basically not um, something I wanted to look at because yeah I also severely need to find a sleeping area near here thank you yum oh hey well you look at that we already found we already found a gate which means well <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if I had the karma. I do not have the karma. <laughs> I'm like, that's nice, but no karma. I mean, today is apparently a long, long day, so I'm definitely going to use it. Um, oh, that was great. <laughs> I will say, having to only get five food does feel really nice. Like, I can already tell this is going to be a much nicer thing for me. Um, can I get the wall jump so I don't have to go all the way around now? And bop, bop. Uh, I have to remember where things are here. Ah, there we are. Um, I do also need to get Wanderer, um, early. Because Wanderer is one of the ones that you're required to do, basically, to, um, get a lot of the unlocks. And I believe Pilgrim, which is the one that is mainly involved with actually getting... Um, the Echo Achievement is one of them. Now, or not Wanderer, um, Survivor. That's one that I need to get. Yeah, so, we will, I think today we try to just survive here. And then we move on to the next area next time. Who knows? I will say it is very nice already feeling like I'm in control of a lot of what's going on. <laughs> that was a quick reaction. I should have recognized that that was not a, uh, not a, uh, 
not a thing to grab, and then that was a pole plant. But, um, I did not. Yeah, pole plant, my bad. Always be careful about the ones of those that touch ground. Sleep. <laughs> We're just working Survivor as quickly as possible. I will say it is very weird um, not having like 70 karma levels, or not 70, uh, like seven karma levels, you know? Or what, however many, I think it's 10 actually now that I think about it. But it's weird not having the 10 karma levels. I'm so used to the last time I played there being 10 karma levels and I'm like, uh, where, where my karma go? Um, we are actually going to be building up our karma this time. So it means we won't see all of the karma immediately basically like we will actually be slowly building up our max karma throughout the entire game because of the way we're intending on doing the echoes this time now i also don't know if there's more echoes or less echoes or anything like that i merely know that the way to get the achievement I'm after is um, with Echoes. I will say also that right there is a very nice little thing. Like, this area, if I remember correctly, is really good for getting food, like, quickly. Um, it's non-specific food, so it's not going to get me hunter or uh, monk um, the passages, but it is going to at least help with what? Huh? That's new. Okay, so you're remem you're you're seeing the same thing our slug cat did originally, Survivor did. I don't know if that's new. That that was interesting. Alright, Survivor is now ticking. Just need to do that four more times. Yep, I do know about that. That's so interesting and weird. What was that? I mean, Survivor, we did ascend Survivor, so maybe that is the ascended spirit of Survivor, basically. Because I know this game, like, this game has some meta tracking to it, I'm betting, where it's able to track things like that you did where if you ascended something it's probably going to be like oh there's a marker for them having ascended that um character so because i can already tell this character cares about um survivor you know as a character i mean we knew we knew survivor had a family and whatnot because we we saw them in their opening cutscene and whatnot i'm gonna leave those berries alone and try and get it off of uh just these guys today so that, that way those berries are there when i come back tomorrow because we're we're trying to if you can't tell um get as much of uh, food in general and then use said food to just um okay go what do you mean there's a slug cat up here what do you mean up here see now i'm even more confused because that's a symbol i haven't seen before 
Also, I will admit, I took like a month long hiatus from the game because I was, I uh, took a break from YouTube actually. I took a break from recording for a long period of time, didn't do any recording at all. And uh, well, other than lore videos for MDOT and stuff like that. Um, and I've just been trying to relax and focus on myself basically. Um, and that meant that a lot of my games that I record, I haven't played in forever. This is a game that I thought I was going to suck at. Um, so that's the pole plant. Um, I'm very happy to see that I'm able to hop right back into, albeit from my understanding, what's supposed to be the easy mode character. Um, but I am happy to see that I'm still able to play this game pretty well. I mean, I haven't tried killing any lizards yet, but I will, I might eventually, who knows. And I know that right now we're just kind of chatting while I go back and forth sleeping roughly every minute, basically. But it does feel good already to be back working in on all of this and figuring everything out with it. Alright, Survivor 3. Oh, yeah. I, I knew about that, but, you know, it is good to hear. Um, let's see here. Ooh, I almost slid right into the pole plant. Oh, hi, Eggbug. Um, you're you're one that I don't like doing the whole fighty dance with because you're hard to kill sometimes. Um, but getting 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 an egg bug wouldn't actually be too bad. I mean, if I can pull off getting an egg bug, that is like a free day's worth of food, basically. Alright, well, egg bug sadly decided no. Alright, let's see here. Eat. Climb up this. What are you sending me towards? I know the monk and the survivor have relatively similar stories, but I'm not sure if that means that they aren't similar, if that makes sense, you know, like if I'm expecting to see new story events or anything like that as well. That's the main thing that I'm confused about is, am I, should I be expecting new story? Or should, will this be truly like the same story, you know? What does that mean? What is that? That now start it. I promised myself I wouldn't go looking at the Rain World wiki anymore, and now I'm like, oh boy, I want to go look at the Rain World wiki even more. Uh, we already have had this, but God, this game, this game's already reeling me back into looking at the wiki a million times a day. I love that this game can do that to me though the fact that it knows this game knows somehow that I like looking at its wiki and figuring everything out about it uh 
Alright. Hi, pole plant. You're... You're aggressive today. Got him. Survivor was here. Something, something, Survivor. If it pulled an image from the last time I played, that would be insane. Alright, this should be our survivor badge, basically, and our free passage, um, which is good, that's good, we're, we're already doing relatively good, actually, like, <laughs> I feel like I got back into the game and just went, boom, got it, cha-ching, yep, thank you for the survivor passage. Yep, I know about this game. It again is telling me a million things that I already know. Alright, now... Let's follow ABCs, always be carrying. question what the frick this is it's just a random squid doing squid things and down we go into the water hole I don't know where this goes actually that stick is moving for some weird reason alright now we definitely have the stuff to get going places all right, hey yo, let's move. Swap me out. I don't know where we're heading into exactly because I don't remember the map, but I mean, I feel confident in saying this is a good direction to head in. It definitely is, like, here's the thing, almost all the echoes except for like two are on the left hand side of the map, not the right hand, which is the important thing. All right, where are we? The drainage system. Okay, so we're here. Which is not exactly the area I was hoping on heading to, just because drainage system is a hard area. Simply just because drowning in this game sucks. I also don't remember how to navigate drainage system from this side. Because I know I've done it. Because. Wait. Oh, those are the drop down platforms. I'm like. Wait, was there a one sided wall jump that I didn't know about that you could do? Um, no. I do believe there is an echo in the drainage. I'm not sure on that though. I'm like, we're basically at the part of the game now where I'm just gonna start going in directions and hopefully it's correct. Whoa, you have a long tail. Oh, I do not like it. He's coming my way. This is one I've never seen before, too. We've we've already found a new lizard, which is crazy to me. I need you to come this way so that I can swim around you. So that you can get in the water.
And I can go this way. <laughs> there we go. Granted, I also have zero memory of where the, um, where the echoes are. I know there's one that I'm going to absolutely hate because it's going reverse up the wall. Oh, you guys are not going to like me anymore, aren't, are you? Because I'm so used to them liking me. Yeah, they're probably not gonna like me anymore, I assume? I mean, I don't know. Um, when is the rain? Good god. Did they make Survivor's rain timer, like, absolutely massive or something? Because this is definitely gonna be an easy mode character for me, if that's the case. Because one of my greatest killers on Survivor was the rain timer. Rain timer was absolute pain. Alright, well, um, I was hoping I'd be able to jump over those, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Get popped. Um, you know what? There, there is so much time I don't even want to sleep in there yet. Like, well, hang on. Because I can discover it, I believe. And then walk right back out of it. Right? Because that marks it on the map. Which is an important part because it means I can fast travel later. It is a good thing that that got popped because I didn't even realize that was a pole plant. Case in point, I I have not played this game in forever. I recognize this room. This room's a pain. Are the leeches still there? Do they still have a million leeches? No. They don't. Do the leeches not exist? I mean, look. I get it. This is definitely meant to be the easier character. I know that. Um, I do also know Survivor was... Well, the other thing is, is it might also be... Oh, I almost had that. Um, it might also be... Oh, uh, this one's a problem. Um, I might also just be surviving on my knowledge better right now. Like, this right now, I'm seeing as this is a problem but I did see that sphere in the water yeah okay you know what we'll go down this way we'll ride it this way Echo pla plant, or echo flower. I love the echo flowers. They're just, there's something about the echo flowers in this game that just, like, speak to me. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Maybe there's something involving them with echoes this time. I don't know. are full echo okay I'm like thunder just hit I just felt it remember this game if you play with haptic sensors um, basically like tells you rain is coming shortly before it actually does there's the leeches I hate you already I I despise the leeches. Um, they are the other thing that has killed me the most in this game than like 
anything else other than the rain, maybe. Leeches, I swear, are one of my greatest foes. Um, I also swear there's a way... God. I should have probably taken the rest when I saw it. You know what? Let's just dive. Just dive because we're awesome. And I know where I was heading. Holy cow. Alright, here's the thing. Part of me doesn't want to get too far into the game in these episodes before we're streaming back at college again because I'm doing this as preparation for back in college continuing the Rain World streams. So, therefore, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. We've already made a fair bit of progress. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye!